Welcome to the IOD Inlay Dresser Remakeover. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please like and subscribe to our station. Hey there, we're getting ready to put an in put an inlay on this dresser that we put one coat. I'm gonna move this, one coat of Annie Sloan paint in, in Napoleonic blue. Is it called Napoleonic blue or just? Mm, Napoleon. Uh, and we are gonna put a second coat on and then we're gonna put the inlays on. But before I do that, I have to make sure that I cut enough of these pieces to fit across. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the extra, let me show you what, this is the back side. This is the sheet that comes in between every single inlay. This is the inlay without the sheet. So this is what gets flipped over. So right now you see what has this extra, um, what I would call the salvage. I'm gonna cut that salvage off because I'm gonna to need to um, continue across laying the inlay. So that's what I'm doing first. And I am also gonna cut this right down the middle um, because we are just putting, doing one drawer at a time. So I'm gonna get started with cutting the salvage off three different inlay sheets and getting them ready to lay down. coat of paint on. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to put this paint on and not too heavy, but not too light. A nice liberal amount of paint is what I think the directions say. This paint is drying so fast. So we go ahead and put it on a little heavier than I normally would, just because like I said, it's drying so fast. And it's Annie Sloan paint, Napoleonic blue, and this is an oak dresser that was in pretty bad shape. So we decided to put one of the beautiful new inlays from IOD on it. So it's gonna have these gorgeous pink flowers. Okay, so I've put my second coat of paint on. I know my dresser, all the paint is wet, okay? Mm. No. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got my guy here looking to see if I've missed anything. I'm gonna take these, these are the inlays and we've trimmed them to fit on this dresser, so. And I want to be right at that top line. Don't want to move it around too much. I want to lay it down. So there's my first one. Now I've trimmed these so they match. So I'm going to lay my second one down. Right there. Line them up. So they match and what keeps happening is this keeps moving so I went ahead and gave myself this extra here and I've got my third one and you want to keep it taut as you're putting it down So I've got them laid down. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dampen this. 
and I'm dampening it. I'm actually spraying water on it as lightly as I can with this. It's kind of a big spray bottle, so it might get wetter than I really want it to be, but I've got the whole thing wet. Where's the sponge? See that sponge? Oh, there it is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press. I don't wanna move this, but I'm pressing the paint inlay into the surface. And this is just a damp cloth. And then I'm gonna let it dry. Unfortunately, I don't have a good before picture of this dresser before we put any paint on it. Okay, so once I know that it's all really embedded in, the paint inlay is pushed into that second coat of paint, the wet coat of paint, I'm just gonna let it dry. So we'll come back as soon as that dries. And we'll start peeling it off. Ready for the final, ready for the final stage, which is to pull this paper off and see this beautiful inlay, inlaid into our paint. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dampen it so that the paper is easy to get off. And I'm, again, I'm just, it's a saturated rag, saturated with just water. Oh, the last, oh, I guess I could do that. I'm gonna just do that then. Okay, and I am ready to pull this back. And here we go. And it pulls off super easy. Our paint is inlaid into the paint on the dresser. And I'm gonna pull that up and then I'm gonna get to the next one. So I'm gonna let this dry before I put it away. It's still pretty damp. Okay, now on to number two. And because we're wetting it, it doesn't rip. It just, and it comes off, there's no, I don't have to go crazy push it, but remember this is still activated, this paint all over here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is pull this one off. And here we go. So that's our second inlay, our second piece of inlay, there you go. And I'm going to get my final piece. And as you're looking at this, you'll see there's some little, there's some um, slight lines where we um, tried to get the design exactly to match and we weren't quite perfect. And I'm gonna show you what we're going to do to remedy that. So this is the first time we're using this inlay. First time inlay. Pull it back. Did you get me some water? Oh, we didn't get some water. So I am gonna take 
this brush and right here I'm just gonna this is a damp brush and what I'm doing is because this is still so wet just put a little water on this let that set for a few seconds and we'll smudge that paint around a little bit more. Now it's gonna look like a little bit of smudge, but you're not gonna see that line there any longer do the same thing there and when that dries all right, see if I can get some of the dark uh, that you're getting a little bit of the blue coming through so I think I'm just gonna leave that right now we're activating more of the blue than I want to activate. Just want to activate. So I'll get rid of that line. We'll see what that looks like when it dries. Okay. We're gonna finish the top of this dresser and then we're gonna let this all dry. And then the final step will be top coating this dresser. We're wetting the final two little drawers that go in the top of our dresser so we can pull the inlay off. And here it comes. I just love this vintagey look. And there's the first part. And here's where we join them. One more little bit. And that needs to be. So when it starts to stick a little and you can't get it off, you know you're gonna tear it, just dampen it. It will come right off, okay? Rather than tearing it. This is our very last drawer. And then we're gonna show you what it looks like when we put the drawers in. Again, it's just a plain cloth saturated with water. Just a rag. This inlay's been on, what? Probably an, almost two hours, right? I think about two hours setting. And we're pulling it off. It was dry. We'll let these dry before we put them away. Let's keep this one. And this one has quite a bit of a space for some reason. We'll let that dry. We'll reactivate the green. And then we will smudge that green together so you don't see that long. So I'm going to hold the camera. And he's going to put the last two knobs on. Because this is a start to finish inlay. And that's the last part is putting the knobs on, but you can see the knobs are on the background on the other piece. Let's get the knobs on this one. When before it dries, it's so bright. All 
and we're not going to super tighten them because we're just going to use them to open and close the drawers. They have not been sealed yet and we don't want to have anything get on them or make it hard for us to open them. And here is the other part, the little keyhole, which we took off to do the inlay. It just, it's good. Don't want to bend that um, brass piece at all. Our last drawer is getting done right now. dressers have locks see that lock mm -hmm. they're non-functioning but they still look very cool and probably function if you had a key wood puts it back where it used to be and then here is our finished dresser well actually not finished the painting is finished Next thing we got to do is we're going to finish the top. We're going to put a stain on the top and then we are going to seal the whole thing with wax. So there she is. <laughs> 